Tickets to my stand-up tour are on sale. No, 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 no. That's coming. It's Anzac Day. No, I'm opening with this. I got to Let's open with Anzac Day, then promote, bro. It's the no, biggest I'm promoting. day. The biggest day in Australia's calendar. I'm promoting. The biggest day in tickets Australia's to calendar. Tickets to my tour the are biggest available day now. On Australia's calendar. Get your tickets. I'm going to every part of Australia except Canberra. So come along. Uh, watch me do some comedy live. And if you're a you would not, I give you way more attention than the no you wouldn't is. Um, and please buy tickets early so that I can do second shows. So well, if you're thinking of coming, please come. You're not going to know if they're now. you wouldn't or not because none of them bought merch to show it off that they are. So, 100%. Right, no. But, but buy them early. The only you reason you can tour is because the Anzac's fought for us. And it's Anzac Day today. So happy Anzac Day. Happy Anzac Day. And do something to commemorate those that Fucking gave their knows. lives for you and for the rest of for, for the whole country. Everyone. Literally. Whole country. Fucking, like, honestly, I reckon the most important day on Australia's calendar. I don't think, as as one that everyone, you know what I mean? People don't believe in Christmas. Your birthday is just your birthday. Can't get over yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's like, well, listen, cunt, we're all here because of that. So have a bit of fucking respect and show some love. And honestly, if one of them says, suck me off right now, A, I don't know if it would work. B, I think they're all dead. But C... Maybe do it. Do it, bro. <laughs> no. Do it, bro. Okay, thank you for um cho- joining the episode. I think, predictions, it hasn't started yet. This will be one of our longest episodes. Okay. Can I just add to the length of saying shout out to Koala for our new yep. lounges? We have lounges and we're sitting on them, obviously. This and they're a- amazing and I'm holding a little stuffed koala. I was just fucking it before. Pretty much came from Steve Smith himself because I'm yeah. pretty sure he owns shares in it. So thanks, Steve Smith. Thanks, Steve Smith. And don't act like I didn't see you. Oh, wait, no, you didn't actually. Well done, Steve Smith. Shout out to you. You didn't get chips at Chargo Charlie's when I saw you five years ago. Well, how did you ask for a photo? Fuck no. Huh. Steve Smith. <laughs> what what do you mean? One of the greatest, fucking Steve one of the greatest Smith. Australian cricketers ever. Whoa. Who gives a fuck? Oh, but if a fucking drag queen walked into fucking... Thank you. Let's start with this. Congratulations to Nymphia Wind for winning RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nymphia, what, what well done. What was the done. name? Nymphia Wind. I don't get that one. Well, Aren't they all meant to like make, you know what I mean? No, they're not all puns. They're not all puns. Uh-huh. What would your drag name be? Oh, uh, Slab. I really like the name Slab. No, you got it. You want to. You want it to be something like. Oh, like like a uh, toey or something like that. Like something that's like a. No, pun. something like a. There's a pun. There's like, an Australian yeah. queen. Her name's Hannah Conda. Hilarious. That's See, funny. that's hilarious. Yeah. Who was the one we saw in Brisbane? Who Beverly opened, Kills. Beverly Kills. You know what I mean? They're yeah. they're sick names, bro. Okay. Salt and pepper or something, aren't they like twins or something? Oh, sugar and spice. Sugar and spice. How do you know sugar and spice? Because you talk about them all the time. Well, and they're I actually in trouble because they did a Starbucks commercial. How good's that? Their name stands out. So when I think drag, I think sugar and spice. I think salt and pepper. Then I think sugar spice. Can I tell you one of the best names that was on the I'd most love recent to, bro. season? I could rattle these off for ages. Amanda- People think I'm really against drag. I'm not. You're not against drag. I, I just don't watch it personally. A mandatory meeting. It's Amanda, then Tory, then meeting. That's quite That's funny. clever. It's up there with Amanda Rin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Teresa Green. But I think I know what your drag name would be. Ivana Rim. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need a rim? Yeah. <laughs> Anita Rim. Anita Rim. Dude, that's your that name. That is my name. That's your track. Okay. Anita, like like the ice cream. A N I T A, and then just R I M. Anita Rim. Anita Rim. Oh no. Anita Rim. I need her. No. Anita. Anita Rim. Because no, because it's I need a rim. Like I. No, it's per. Like I need it. <laughs> like I need no, a but rim. Can you say I need a rim if you Anita say it quick enough? It's it sounds like I. Yeah, true. Okay. Anita rim. Can right. we please get? What's your there, sorry? Mine, I had slab, but I, I was trying to think. I had, I had a few that were really. Oh, I had. I've got a bunch in my head now. I can't remember them. That's I'm all on right. The spot, and I don't want to waste everyone's time thinking. Yeah, but maybe I'll just throw them this out. This is already going to be the world's longest episode. Exactly. Well, if you, there are any makeup artists out there, can we put Pat in drag for the next episode? <gasps> no. Oh I'm my not doing gosh! It. I'm not doing it. Oh my gosh! I really don't like makeup. Like, can I, just, I tell I you don't something? Like I hate makeup on my face, bro. It's the worst. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. Okay, but let's do something fun. Oh my gosh, let's do something fun for the listeners. Let's debut and get people over to the YouTube channel. 
on one of the upcoming episodes, we are going to both be in drag and record the pod. Will will be in drag. I hate make like I. Do you know how many people dude, are going to tune into the episode on YouTube to see you to on see you in drag, in drag bro? No, who gives I a fuck wouldn't. About me? I wouldn't kiss a ten out of ten if she had lip gloss on, bro. I'm not having it on me. I hate it. Huh? I hate lip gloss. I hate lipstick. I hate all that stuff. Okay, even though every girl you've ever dated slash been with has had eyelashes that look like they've stuck fans to their face. I don't remember that being makeup. <sighs> Says every Pat drag. Hagen, Pat every the drag party. queen has that. Pat Hagen's the party. Oh, the girl I'm seeing is going to fly me there. <laughs> yeah, I like fake eyelashes. I reckon they're hot as. So do you want to fuck my dogs? Because they've got long eyelashes. And I'd love to fuck your sister and your mother, though. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my God. I would say I'd want to fuck your mum, but I don't want to root ugly slots. Oh my God. <laughs> and I would suck your dad off, but he'd probably hate crime me afterwards. Yeah, okay. well, if he's got a penis like mine, it wouldn't fit in your little mouth, mate. That's for sure. Is his also riddled with chlamydia? I don't have chlamydia. Okay. I take that back. Pat. I take that all back. Your mum and your mom, sister are literally not, like my second gorgeous. mum and sister. Your mum is the most beautiful, gorgeous woman ever. And anyone who calls women ugly sluts, look yourself in the mirror and then just punch it. No, punch yourself. Don't break in the mirror. That's about seven years ago. No, no, no. Luck. Punch yourself in the face. Yeah, uppercut. Never Snap call a woman yourself. an ugly slut yeah. ever. But no, I love your mum and sister and the thought of that's inbred. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would like to move on to our first topic. I went to JB Hi-Fi today. Hilarious. <laughs> the way you laughed at that is just funny. No, because I'm thinking about what happened. I went to JB Hi-Fi today and I bought a PlayStation controller. Yeah, Shay. Yeah, because I need one. PS5, yeah. PS5, obviously. I'm not poor. Um, yeah. yeah. And Must be nice. Here's something. It's JB Hi-Fi security guards do it in particular, uh, but maybe other places as well. Bruh, I get you meant to stand there and check the receipt. But just like look at the receipt as I'm walking out. Don't stop me. Grab the receipt, scan it, grab the item out of the bag, look at it, flip it over. This cunt, I was like, am they I boarding? did that. I was like, brother, am I boarding a plane? I want to leave the store. Yeah. Just go, this is what you should happen. Walk, walk, walk. If there's a security guard, you know what I'll even do? Open the bag just to be like, I'll make this easy for you. Here you go. Not hiding anything. Yep. Like that. Do you know what I mean? Like a in Thailand flashing her knob. You know what I mean? Just here you go on the way in. This security guard, <laughs> okay, sure. terrible analogy. Terrible but analogy. this security guard, just the way, actually I can't say <laughs> can we cut <laughs> Oh, look who said it. Yeah, I can't. No, we're we going to leave that it. in and just bleep it no. out. Because I want, no, we're going to bleep it out. Okay, bleep it. Because Will's just said a word that he comes at me for saying. Okay. Comes at me. Anyway, anyway. What are your thoughts on that? Am I being ridiculous? Don't, what, what's the etiquette? I think JB Hi-Fi, the security guards are worth the money they're on there because they really do good check and shit's expensive in JB. So I think it's fair. Okay. I think, don't look at the eye. I think open the bag and if need be, if there's a chance that there's a, another item hidden underneath the item on top, sure, just kind of pull it to the side. Play on. Can I say me. something? Yeah. The PlayStation 5 controller was locked behind like a lock on the shelf. This so is I where it gets. To, this is yeah. where it gets crazy. So I needed to go and I needed to get an assistant to come over and help me. They unlocked it. They then scanned it at their portable desk on the side, gave me a piece of paper, took the p controller to the front desk. I then went to the front desk, handed in this piece of paper. They scanned it. They went back, grabbed the controller, came back here, put it in the bag, gave me the receipt, texted it to me, asked for my number. Brothers, yeah, no, no, bro sisters, no, brother, others. brother. The thing is, they're not worried. Did you steal the controller? They're worried. Did you steal something else? I know, brother. That's why they check, brother. I know. So that's brother. why they pulled the the PS5 controller out to see if you've got a little USB C HDMI then cord under there. Then what was on the other side of the box that old mate was so interested in? What did I tape a secure? Did I tape a USB oh, to the other there, side? He of shouldn't. The box? He shouldn't be flipping your shit. And don't grab, don't snatch my receipt. No. You're lucky to even be within a foot of me. <laughs> it's not a meet and greet. 
<laughs> People pay. For I mean, that. I'm in a chaotic mood. I am in a chaotic mood. Get silly, bra. Get your cock out. Maybe, honestly, I was about to. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. <laughs> nah, no, fair. You know what? Fair. Because normally they do a good job, but don't go flipping it. The ones at Kmart, they scan your receipt now. Must just be for stock take. Because they don't give a fuck what you do, bro. You know the shit I walk out of with in Kmart? What's the place that it's in the middle? The Kmart. Checkout? Fuck you and you fuck everything about you. Nah, you I love Kmart. With. Kmart's hectic. Put it at the fucking door, the, the scanning thing. Because I know what they're doing. They're going, we're going to put it in the middle and it's so clever and smart. Yeah, but it is. Fuck yourself, bitch. It is pretty clever and smart because it's central. It doesn't, when you walk in now, it's free flowing. I don't even remember what Kmart's like when it used to be at the front. But I just know I would never want it to go back because of how convenient it is. I thought it was Big W that had it in the center. Nah, Big W's front, Target's front. There's a girl that works at Target that my sister wants to set me up with. Mm. Yeah, I saw her the other day. She's quite cute. But how do you approach that? Sister hookups. I walk into Target and go, hey, I know you're working. My sister thinks we'd be a good couple. Give me a number. Just doesn't work. She'd probably laugh and be like, fuck off. Be you like, hey, I mean? sorry, this is so random, but the um, I'm, I'm just after new bed sheets because the last no, few girls I've no, had over no. have squirted all <laughs> over them. And I I must be so good at what I do because I, I need seven new sets of bed sheets. Do you have extra thick vagina What if I wanted to repellent? take this girl out and get to know her? What about that? Wait. What about that? Instead of just talking about inappropriate things like that to a girl you've just met. You're going to love me for saying this. There is a Shep in your left nostril. And Bro, I would want you to do the same. I've been me. getting so many boogers lately. It's okay. I don't know what it is because I shaved my nose because I posted- Oh, a, yes. I posted a TikTok. Valid. And it went pretty well, bro. I got like 250,000 views. Like, I don't TikTok. Mm. You know what I mean? Like Patrick Clifton mm. doesn't- Like I don't TikTok. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'll just randomly post things if I find- If I think it's funny, I'll just post it on TikTok. Mm. Anyway, I had a big nose hair coming out and everyone was like, shave your nose hair. So- Wow. You gave funnily it. enough, next to me where I did it, in my car, I have a nose trimmer. Don't I don't know why. So I shaved it. But ever anyway, long story short, I think your nose hairs potentially stop boogers forming. They do. And now I've shaved them. It's like fucking a city in there. Olivia Rodrigo, there's been leaked to a dates for Australia. Yeah. Let me tell you, I like the look of the dates. Yeah. I like the look. November first, <sighs> she's in Sydney. What was the stadium? It don't think it said it. It I didn't think I it. saw. We it had a you wouldn't, and I'm going to shout out the you. No, we've had a lot me. of you wouldn't. You should see our Instagram. Everyone's been messaging it. But the thing is, I'm not convinced yet. Harmony Rook. There's no Harmony Rook in Australia. No Harmony Rook's the fucking you wouldn't know that posted it. <laughs> I thought you meant that was the stadium. Guts World Tour at Spark Arena. Oh, that's New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. There's sorry. Yeah, my bad. There's nothing in Sydney. Who's Chappelle Roan? Who are you? Is that who's opening for her? Yeah. See, who's late? The, the, anyway, Who this the is, fuck is Chappelle? This Ryan? is where I reckon we're at. Picture a nip slip, right? And if the whole boob came out, that's Olivia coming to Sydney. I reckon we're just like at not even the nipple yet. We knew Olivia was coming. Like, see my, this isn't surprising. Sh like, show your nipple, right? If you can just get your nipple out. That is how see, much Olivia... We, we've got that much... We've just got that little pink outline. Yeah. We don't actually have the nipple. Can I say something? It's just that little pink outline. We don't even know, bro. AI, people Photoshop We knew stuff. Olivia was coming, and it's nice to see a date November 1st. That's an exciting date. So, Olivia, I want to say this. I, good luck, Chappelle Roan. I won't be seeing a second of your performance, firstly. I'll be arriving. Who is she? Right when you're can, done. Can you look up Chappelle Rome? Can we get a gauge of like monthly listens? Maybe how many followers she has. Now, of course, that's not everything. But in the music world, you know what? It kind of is everything. I'm going to so play the first Chappelle Rome song that comes up. All I can think of is Chappelle fucking Corby, brah. All like the, just a fucking boogie board full of marijuana. That's all I can think of. Okay, she, She's got 8.2 8 monthly listeners. And she's coming here with a sorry. That, that's a lot. Don't get me wrong. That is a lot. But how many does Olivia Rodrigo have? Okay, at least fifty. Her most popular song is one called "Casual" from twenty twenty two. You're a casual singer, honey. <laughs> I 
hate it. We skip it a bit. Yeah, why not? Oh, I swear to God, it's not bad. Oh, I semi love it. I swear to God, I semi love it. It's very Olivia. Dude. I take back everything I said, Chappelle. Okay. We're doing homework. We're going to go listen to her before the next I'm pod. I'm listening to Chappelle. And we've got to give an honest So opinion. that got me really excited. This is her most recent I song. Might, it's called Good Luck Babe. I might go early and see Chappelle. Oh, sorry. Bro, fuck. Bro, let's go see sorry, Chappelle I'm, then I'm leave going, for Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, bad idea, right? Right. Bringing someone that's probably going to outshine you. Yeah. No, she won't outshine her. But how many monthly listens does Olivia have? 59 mil. Yeah. I'm yeah, okay, semi, that's, that's fair. You know what I'm semi-eating? You know what I'm semi-eating? I'm semi-eating I'm eating up the Taylor Swift hate on her new album. Did she release a new album? She released two new albums. She released her tortured poet shit. Mm. And then she's released the deluxe edition, which has 15 more songs on it. And what? People don't like it. Bloated. Excessive. Filler. She's done All too of much. The words. Mm, too I, much. See, weird that. I haven't even heard about it. Like, I know she announced it at the Logies or some shit. But then. The Logies? Or are they Australian? If I was Taylor, I'd disappear for four years and not release anything. Could you imagine the comeback, brah? It would It'd actually be, be like quite. Conor McGregor. It would <laughs> actually be like. Like, a ma- no, 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 I'll tell you what it would be. be. It would be the it would be it would cause fallout. You know the show, the game that then became a show? That is actually the way that the apocalypse happened was was Taylor's return. Turn. Imagine, bro. I didn't even know she released a new album. But yeah, if Olivia comes, I come. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Like if Olivia comes to Sydney, bro, I'm going to be so out of place, I think. I'll be really interested to see the crowd dyna- dynamic. It'll be young. Because boy, like, don't get me, men like, surely men like her. Like, she's that good. But girls are so on singer. top of getting, getting tickets, tickets and shit. organizing shit, like being there. Like, supporting. are we going to be so on out? I don't think so. Because I can tell you one I- thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink for it. <laughs> and I'm going to sing. <laughs> I'm gonna I, like. I'm gonna rustle feathers at that concert. Ruffle, ruffle. No, I'm gonna rustle them. You know what? I'm gonna be so. I I want to be Chappelle Roan's biggest supporter there. Mm. That was two of the best songs I've ever heard. I put a challenge to us. Right? Yeah. He said it could actually be one of your. This could be fucking hilarious if we pull this over. The best thing ever. We hold up. A, we get there early. And we hold up a poster. You know those things being like, can I sing with you on stage? But they're actually really good. Mm. Me and you try to get up, bro. And we, pretend, we act like we're this mad up and coming du- like duo in Sydney. And we're like, can we please sing for you? We have X amount of listens on Spotify. And she pulls us on stage, bro. And we just completely bomb a song. <laughs> Admit that'd be hilarious, bro. Uh, what song would we choose? I do, no, we, don't, not- we don't get to choose. You know what I would sing? We'd, do, we'd have to do one step, four, three steps. Let's back. say she gives us the mic. I got like this. <clears throat> Everyone seems a damn genius <laughs> late, late, late TikTok, TikTok talking late night TV steal so much. I have yet to know. Oh, that's me. I'm going to be singing Revival with Zach Bryan on stage when he comes to Australia next. Anyway, would you do that? 100% I would. It'd be hilarious, bro. 100% Could you imagine just for the lols? And Olivia's I reckon Olivia's only- a sick kind enough to laugh at that. Olivia's only coming to Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. Yeah, where the fuck else are you going to go? Perth? No cunt goes to Perth. L, brah. It's a five hour flight. Fuck off. Not, Olivia doesn't do that shit. Chappelle if Taylor doesn't won't. do it on a private jet. I know. Fuck off. No cunt's doing it. Okay. I want to rant about Uber Eats, if I may. Do it, brah. Do it. This is just a message to Uber Eats. Stop giving me bicycle people. I know we saw my Instagram story. I don't I'll, give a fuck if it's an e-bike I'm either. Not gonna t- I'm not going to go on too much about it. Bicycles are banned. I don't give a shit about the environment. I couldn't give a fuck if whatever happens. Oh no, 
my kids, 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 air pollution. <laughs> Fuck them. I couldn't give a shit about your kids, 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 kids. I couldn't give a shit about your kids that don't exist yet. That's what people say to me sometimes. They go, what about my kids? Well, the ones that don't exist that are in your balls right now that you're- The ones that you shoot onto a fucking old pair of undies most nights. Dude. <laughs> Those kids. Like, the ones that are getting flushed down the loo every night. <laughs> fuck them. I don't give a fuck about your rat kids. Second thing, when it's raining, Uber Eats drivers have to stop. They're not allowed oh, to yeah. deliver. Can you just switch the app off, please? And don't let me order my food. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't let me order the food in the first place. Okay. You greedy sons of bitches. If you're going to put in the rule that the driver cannot deliver rain, hail or shine. If it's raining, if it's hailing, regardless of bicycle, regardless of car. If you're going to make them not, uh, not allowed, then don't let me spend $60 on food and it arrives mm, yum like it's been in the fucking rain for five hours or they just don't sometimes i've been waiting two hours for my food because there's not a driver and they don't shut it off and be they like don't no, shut it off it's just fuck it's sitting in the restaurant mm. and they're going what absolute fuckwit ordered this yeah i did i'm the fuckwit and i'm also hungry and i'm gonna spend another 90 dollars now yeah. So it, it's upsetting and it's annoying. Uber, you are greedy and fuck yourself. Have to say it. Yeah. 100%. Also, can I just ask, because I ordered Uber Eats today. Obviously, that's why I'm saying this. My guy, my delivery driver on a bicycle is like halfway to my house. And then I just get a notification. Your order's been cancelled. Your driver ran into an issue. So honestly... Either, either he's taken my food. That's what's happened. He's taken my food. Or, and I hope it's this option, because no, otherwise I'll be angry. No, don't, don't. He's been run over. No, because don't. don't you ever fucking steal from me again. Is that what happened? He stole my food. He went, yum, that smells good. <laughs> that smells delicious. <laughs> well, I hope you met your fate. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be scraping you off the fucking <laughs> bonnet of the car. And you know what I expect if you do hit the bike driver? <laughs> Go through his bag and finish the order. Don't let him die in vain. Don't let him die in vain. He had a mission. You fulfill that mission. <laughs> Anyway, I hope I obviously <sighs> don't hope that. That's awful. But but why did why did it get cancelled? It was two minutes know, away. Man. It was two, did he just give up? It was like, I've hit my steps for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel it. No, in all seriousness, it's not serious. It's funny because he might have got hit. He no, might not, have got hit. I know it's really not funny because there's no other explanation. You know what also isn't funny? What moving house? Oh. Mm. That was a gulp. Can I? I do really good gulps. Yeah, I know. Mm. Ready? Mm. All right, now it's getting onto the gayer side. Okay. Continue. So, I moved house on the weekend. Moved back to my parents' house. Wake up Saturday morning, a little bit hungover. We had a great oh, no, work drinks at our new place of work i guess oh our new studio woke up a little bit home it's a torrential rain absolute torrential rain now i always move myself i've never hired people i always help people move i help my mate move i help his girlfriend move i help his dad move i'm always just the guy that helps people move because it's fucking nice but no cunt wanted to help fucking pat move and my old man's got a bit of a fucked heart at the moment so he can't lift shit so i was there stuck one outs I moved a total of 20 hours over the weekend. 10 hours Saturday, 10 hours Sunday by myself. Jackson helped me move my mattress. Toby helped me load because Toby was also moving out. So like he would help me load the heavy stuff to my car. 20 fucking hours it took me, bro. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? No, come on. What producer into the mic. Producer Kyle, where were you? I was 
around. I was around. You didn't think to I was message Pat? Around. Your uh, partner no, no, I know where you were. You were in bed on a Saturday, pissing down rain. Editing the podcast. Probably, oh, probably a bit of Uber Eats. Our fucking face, are probably you? a bit of Uber Eats. Watching a movie. And good on you. Mr. Didn't Jim Boy. Didn't want to help. Where were you? I'll tell you where I was. I was down the coast. Yeah, you were. What about Sunday? No, you weren't. I'll tell you where I was on Sunday. I'll tell you. Tell me. Look me in the fucking eyes when you tell me too, cunt. I was at home. Yeah. Then I went to the gym. Yeah. And Bunnings fucking warehouse. Oh. Bunnings warehouse. Oh. Don't say trolley load 160 kilos. Ooh. And then when I stack a bunch of weights in a crate, because I can't be Ooh. fucked moving my home gym from the backyard to my car, the first step I go down, the trolley snaps in half. Oh. Snaps in half. <laughs> the weights fall on my feet. <laughs> the crate is stuck on my feet. I have to call for help. I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming. Toby, Toby, the weights are stuck crushing my foot. I already have 30 <laughs> screws and plates in my foot and I have fuck knows how many kilos oh. of weights crumb, like literally crushing me <laughs> with a snapped trolley half on me too. <laughs> fuck you, Bunnings. Oh. Actually, I love Bunnings. Oh, no. Yeah, shout out to the wooden who works at Bunnings who always helps me find stuff. He's a sick cunt. Is he? Yeah, always helps me find stuff. Sounds like a right prick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a fucking mad cunt. Um, it's just a shitty go moving, bro. Like, it's just fucked. Well, it's like, not good. The last time I moved, I had the Indian removalists try and take a fuck shit you. in so, my... You know what I mean? You can't win. You can't win. You either have a fucking... Can I use your toilet? <laughs> no, I was like, brother, you're 35 minutes late and yeah. you're paid by the hour. Anyway, I want to take us back to Friday night. Well, okay. Can, yep. can we? Can sure. I? You can do whatever the fuck you want. We went out to the new market. We had some drinks. We had some food. It was lovely, right? And while well, we wrapped up here probably... What time do you reckon we wrapped up here? Like one-ish? So not too big of a you night. You guys stayed till one. Yeah. We probably well, stayed at the new market till like 11.30. Came back here. Then came back here. Got Managed to get the guys their first ever noise complaint, which was nice. Wow. Um, anyway, not too bad. But then it was kind of like my bed was still at my old house, but no one's there. So I kind of went back there for a bit and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I made a booty call. Oh, it's okay. I don't like to use the term booty call. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it's a great word. I don't think it's a very respectful word. But for <laughs> what it is, just so everyone knows what I'm talking about, I made a booty call. Okay. Wow. wow I'm gagged. Now, nothing pisses me off more. Oh. Then when, so this girl answers the phone. She's like, hey, like, what are you up to? And there's the guy that she's with being like, like, like friends, you know what I mean? And she's, he's like, oh, what are you doing, bro? Do you want to, do you want to come and have some ketamine? Ah, ah, like trying to be like the funny kind. It's like, I don't want to speak to you, cunt. I was like, I'm not like, I, I did not call this number to talk to you, cunt. Like to a man. Fuck off. No you one know what I mean? Shit. Yeah. I hate people like that. Like, I hate it with a fucking passion. She's like, sorry, it's my new housemate. It's like, your new housemate's a cunt. I was like, your new mate thinks he's a sick cunt. And then the next night... Wait, did she come over? No. Nah. Well, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going out there. And then no. she had work early, so we called... No, nah. anyway. The next night, my best friend calls me from Queensland. Like, my best girlfriend. And she's like, hey, Pat, how are you? I'm like, good. And she was drunk. And she was like, oh, this is my friend that I met. And it's this guy. And this guy's like, hey, brother, like, how you doing? Like, nice to meet you. What are you up to? Like, you know what I mean? Just a nice interaction. Why does this guy have to try to be a funny kind of be like, you want to fucking do some cat? It's like, no, I want to do the girl. You <laughs> No, no I don't want to do that. Because he, if he wants to be protective, he can go, hey, no, man, no, he's how not do being you know? He's not being protective. No, I'm saying he's he just being a fuck be with. To be, but he's 100% to be he has a right to do that, sure. But I know this girl. We've been together a few times. Mm. I've given scabies to this girl. So, like, it's not like it's like this, you know, it just really rubbed me the wrong way the when someone tries to do that. Way. You know what I mean? It's like, just be a... D d d d don't be one of those guys. I hate those people. Well, you know what? I hate losing. Same. I just told my therapist how much I hated losing. 
Literally just then. Well, on the what just then? Well, I lost something very near and dear to me. I lost golf. Mm. I went to Kayama. It's weird. What? I said how much I lose it when I losing golf to my therapist yeah. about an hour ago. Funnily you say that. Um, I lost golf. So basically me and some friends, we have a golf competition and we go down and this time we decided to play in Kayama. Uh, what we have up for grabs is a trophy. The losers pay for dinner and green jackets, much like when you win the Masters, you get a green jacket. Um, and I lost, we lost, my team lost. We fought a very hard victory. It was pouring rain, pissing with rain. Fuck me, the wind was heavy. Oh yeah. But we played really well. Pat, I reckon I hit a drive, maybe 220. Wow. Which is maybe the furthest I've driven. Soap. That's very far for someone your size. Thank you. Sapono, the good Sapono, not the fucking little fuck behind the desk today. <laughs> the one who fucking sat in bed while I the trader, slaved trader, away moving. Not Trader Kyle. Jack hit a 360 meter drive. I don't think so. Yes, he did. I Yes, he did. Confirm, I, can confirm. I don't think so. Can bro. confirm. Doesn't Bryson DeChambeau drive like 350? Can confirm. I don't think he drove a 360 meter drive, bruh. I'll call right now. I think you're thinking 260. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. Can you look up Bryson DeChambeau average 360 drive meters. Length, please? Bryson drives like 380 yards, which would be like 350 meters. Is there a world where your brother drove 360 meters? If the wind is like there was wind, I and don't. And we were going. I, just I, can't I, I swear. swear. It's true. I just can't. I can't. And this is nothing against soap. Well, cl- I would be golfer. taking serious personal. But offense. I just think that's a, like two are professionals aren't hitting that. Yeah. So what? What do you mean? So what? Porn stars you aren't fucking me, as Patrick much as you. Clifton clutching up a fucking grand final like Nathan Cleary. Some nor- like an average golfer, good golfer, but the average person doesn't hit that. Porn stars don't fuck as much as you, but yet they do it as a fucking profession. Do you know what I mean? And porn stars have penises four times the size of mine. Okay. What I'm saying is that's what happened. It was 360 meters. Anyway, we lost. I felt really sad, but we were two down with three to play and we clawed it back to even. I putted it. Here we go. There's a clutch Here's putt. Soap. Soap, you're on the podcast. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Okay. How far did you drive on the weekend? What was your furthest drive? 360 meters. Pat, say what Fuck you were saying. Fuck off. Huh? A 360 meter drive. Say what you were saying before, you said it's bullshit. I said there's no fucking way. No, 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 it's legit. You can ask the other five people that were playing. Holy fucking shit. So now you believe shit. it. I'm I still- hips, dude. I'm still These hips shocked. These don't lie either. Hey? These hips don't lie. I oh, got fucking hips. clearly, bro. You're Shakira. Thank yeah. you, Jack. That was it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Oh my God. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. Anyway, golf is great. You should all play it. But I lost and I was really upset. And then, But you did do a good part, lad. Thank you. I did do a good part. Yeah. Um, now, Pat, I wanted to play a little game with you. Yeah. The game is this. I'm going to read out some classic life sayings. Okay. Expressions. And you and I are going to break them down and eventually decide, do we agree or disagree that these sayings are factual, are truthful? Okay. Is there truth in these sayings? Yeah. The first one is the classic. Love comes when you least expect it. Let's break that down. Do we agree or disagree? Love comes when you least expect it. When you stop looking for love, when you just I live th- your life, love comes when you least expect it. Least expect it. I think more along the love comes when you're not looking for it. Because that's right probably now, more of the better wording. If I was scuba diving and I found love at the bottom of the ocean, the, I would, that's the least time I'd expect it. And I mm. don't think it's happening then. I think it's more when you're not looking for it. Cause when you're looking for it, you do a Will Gibb and you jump into a relationship that lasted two weeks and you turn out that you, you didn't, probably not the right match. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you're looking for it. But when you're not looking two for- two months. Let's call it two weeks. No. 
Two months. <laughs> Two months is a stretch, brah. Like an absolute stretch. Well, fair to say you jumped into it because you were looking for it. Yep. So I think it's more when you're not looking for it, it just comes. Just but comes it away. happens when I wasn't expecting because I did it at no, my comedy show. No, but you were so desperate for it. You would have taken fucking anybody. No disrespect to your ex-boyfriend. He was actually amazing. He, he was a sick cunt, 100%. And it's not, that's not against him. It was just how desperate you were for a boyfriend because you were looking so much for it. You were speaking about it for like months. Okay. You had a sign. You literally had a sign when I walked into your room saying, you are worthy of a boyfriend. You will get a boyfriend. It's called manifestation. A hundred and you manifested it, all right? Because you were looking. So we disagree when you least expect it. I think when you're looking, we're not looking for it. Here's the next one. Good things come to those who wait. Ow. Disagree completely. You want to sit around and wait for good things to happen? Well, then guess what? You're going to be sitting around a long fucking time doing nothing. Good things come to those who go out there and take. That's what good things come to. Good things come to winners. Losers wait. Oh, oh you, you go next. I don't mind. I'll just wait along. Loser, stepped on, moving on. Okay. Thoughts? Yeah, I just think you're really overanalyzing pretty simple quotes here, but I like it. No, well, what I'm does it mean? I'm happy just to sit back and just... What does good things come to those that wait mean? Well, I don't actually know. It's fucking like, basic English. It's just like you got to be patient. I think it's more playing along the lines of be patient and it'll come. No, it won't. It will not. If you're patient, you will never succeed. That's a fact. I disagree in that. Because I know a cunt. Well, I don't know him personally, but when he was 12, he said to his parents, I'll be a millionaire by the time I'm 18. And old little fucking Jack put his fucking birthday money on Bitcoin. And I tell you what, 12 to 18, six years, that's pretty patient. And the cunt was a millionaire. Yeah, but like so, he went out there and did it. Yeah, but he waited six years. Good things come to those late. Da, 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 wait it around. depends in the context, but like, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about, you're not just going to be sitting on your couch waiting for something to happen. You've got to go out and do it. But I think they mean when you're doing it, be patient and it'll come. The last one is, um, it's a very simple one. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I love that. I Facts. really love that. I Facts. fucking love that quote. It really is. Because you've got to enjoy, you know what I mean? Like you got to enjoy, like, can we run this? My dream would be to do this full time, right? Obviously, I'm not doing it now. But I love the journey of trying to get there. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, fuck, I hate waking up for work some of the time. It's fucking sucks sometimes waking up for work. But it's part of the journey that I love as well. So I do like that quote. I want to talk about something that happens to me a little bit, right? And it's when I... Online shopping's the way forward. You know what I mean? People online shop. So I'll browse and I'll have a look and I'll see this fucking good looking model, right? Like what a, are you shopping for? What do you mean? Like clothes? Humans. What, what do you mean, bruh? You well, I'm shopping online and then I see a good looking model. It just implied that like you're shopping for like people. I, I see a good looking model wearing a sick outfit Okay, and yeah. I'm like, holy shit, that's a sick fucking outfit. And I order it. And then I put it on <laughs> and I look like a fucking pleb. <laughs> and you've got these gorgeous fucking models, right? Who just make it look so good. And it just leaves me wondering, don't get me wrong. I'm all for positivity and like, you know what I mean? To be a model, you don't have to be this anorexic stick. Like I, I'm all for that. But like, let's not push it of the fact of anyone can be a model because you can't you know what i mean because it adds so much to wanting to buy something how it looks on a person and generally if the person's a and i'm talking male here i'm talking all male here like if i was on a fucking the iconic shopping for clothes it just wouldn't be as appealing as a fucking 10 out of 10 guy wearing it you know what i mean do you agree with me here? You know what is so funny? Here I am thinking that you say this, building up to it. I was going, oh my gosh, Pat is about to advocate for 
diverse models and how important it is that we have diverse people modeling outfits so that we can get a more inclusive style and people can shop. And you've somehow taken your annoying experience of not having a diverse model resulting in you buying clothes, which you then wasted and don't like. And you've gone the other way <laughs> and said, models should only be hot people. No, they And not no, everyone can model. Not, should have, but I just What's think, like, the fuck? Well, it's a fucking talent. Some people are just born with it. You know what I mean? Do you not think there should be diverse models so that there you should look be at the diverse outfit models, and you go, sure. oh, that's like, not Don't get me. me wrong. I'm a big guy. I wear, I wear like a, a 2XL or a 3XL in some things, right? I obviously want to see what a bigger guy looks like in that. But you can't just get some random cunt to model it because it's not as good for the business. Because I see a sexy cunt wearing it and go... You look so fucking good, and I look like an absolute loser once I put it on and it comes. But they've got my money. Here's what we should do. You know what I mean? From all the sizes available, we should have a model from each size that's available in modeling the outfit. But they've still got to be a hot cunt for the business to sell it. How about this? Because it's to the human eye. You're like, okay, that guy's good looking. I want to buy that because you think the clothes are what's making him good looking. But it, butt naked, he's still good looking. Yeah, valid. Do you get me? Is that yeah. fair? Like, like I said, I'm not for, I'm, f I'm, I'm all for like plus size modeling and stuff. Like, it shouldn't have to be. You have to be this skinny thick person, but I think you have to be attractive to be a model. You know what, Pat? Attractiveness is subjective, though. It is, but like, just to the, I'm just talking generic to the eye. You look at conventional beauty know. standards. You're saying you want to keep them. Just you no, don't just want the, just the that generic, so that that generic opportunities. Who's a to very model well known and be model? Creative spaces. Lara Bingle, right? Most people would look at Lara Bingle and be like, attractive person. Sure. Yeah. Of course. So like stunning, you would, you stunning would woman. use people who most of the population would find attractive because then most of the population will look on the website and be like, oh, they're attractive. They look good in that outfit. I'm going to buy it. But then that feeds into the conventional beauty standards that are then pushed onto other people, which then causes people to have mental health struggles because they feel like they're not the people that are being shown in, in, in uh, models and clothes and all that sort of stuff. So that's why it's actually important to go the complete opposite way and to hire diverse people so that anyone can see themselves and then find kind of you know but i just don't think it's as beneficial for the business doing that but what do you but mean the diverse can here? suck itself off but diverse in what in what sense size race gender i agree with all of those no no i know but 100%. what you're saying is you should have should find someone that everyone finds attractive i think why people find no but i'm saying i think that's why it's so needed for businesses to do oh no we get i get that but also i think there is a way that you can actually take another step in another direction and and try and break that down and actually destroy that well i just think if like i said if i was on the iconic next to somebody else who's a better looking person they would sell more but of the outfit they're genuinely, wearing than me. like i, you know I know what I mean? but, and i'm not saying me i'm just saying in, i'm just going to use myself as an but example i think as well if you think about it the conventional beauty standards change so much dependent on time period and I agree, and before I say this, I believe, I'm not saying that people are getting tricked into who they find attractive. I believe that everyone that you think is hot, you genuinely think is hot, right? Yeah. I'm not here to say that society is telling you this person's hot, so you think that. You, you know what is hot and you fuck it. Great, I'm the same, right? Except minus the fucking bit. But have you looked at like the people, I'm gonna show you a photo from like the 1700s, 1600s. It was the most attractive woman in the world and a man killed himself because she turned him down. Have you seen what she looks like? No. Most attractive woman, man killed himself after being turned down hundreds of years ago. It's quite the Google search. And I know for a fact she's gonna come up. But this isn't me saying we shouldn't be weight, gender, age, diverse at all. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying we absolutely should be, but I don't think you can just get any random Joe Blow on a website as a model. Oh. I just don't think that works. Because it's Where a skill, she? right? Yeah, it's, it's a, a skill. skill. Of course it's a skill. It's like you can't get up and just do stand up like you can. Like some people just can't do do things like that. So oh, I cannot believe this. This is fully legit. 
Take my phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what I've just shown you might be, in my opinion, one of the ugliest people I've ever seen in my life. Agree or disagree? Agree. So that back then, like she was considered like the most gorgeous thing in the world. That's what I mean. You put her on a website now in an outfit, it's not going to sell as many, right? Exactly. But what I'm saying is if the society changes in the way that it's like, we're going to start modeling and showing all these types of people, eventually somehow, some way with the pendulum swing, like you see it, like beauty standards go in and out based on, you know, whatever the current climate is of the culture. So whilst I agree with that, I'm saying it's actually like, what? Well, yes, businesses need to do that. It's actually a terrible thing that happens. I think it's a terrible thing where they set a, a standard of you have to be a certain weight or you have to be a certain this or a certain that. Yeah, but that's by, what I by think choosing shocking. the models that you're talking about, that's what they're doing. They're saying you're no, only because seeing- No, I've, I see models who are a size- fucking 18 i'll be like oh my god she's gorgeous i don't know what size it's a bigger size i don't know what how sizes work you know what i mean like it's got nothing to do with fucking size or gender or nothing is what i'm saying yeah i know but what i'm saying is when people if companies did continue to choose what you said before of like the hottest people then they're going to just keep getting then that's just the, what the standard's going to be and all the people on the outside are going to be like i'm ugly well, do you do you think you're ugly because you're just not on the fucking Bonds billboard? If like, I saw a I don't ringer, think I'm an ugly fucking person, but like, I know I'm not a model. I think people can just accept no, that without being I know being that like, as well, but also some people, you know, don't think that way. Some people think otherwise. And subliminally, you actually do think that. Like, I know subliminally I would like um, watch TV shows or movies that had like gay moments gay characters gay kissing and i would not even know why i loved it so much but i did because i was finally seen so it's just those small little um things where you're subliminally taking it in and you're like wow i feel great about myself for some reason you don't know why but maybe you saw someone that looks like you on a on a thing if you saw someone that looked identical to you modeling bonds and he had 10 of the most beautiful chicks you've ever seen around him you would go you would subliminally be okay, like that's i feel not, good what, about they, myself they don't, that, that, that's like a Brazzers fucking thing. You don't see that on a Bond. I know, board. cunt. I'm just trying to fucking. S anyway, whatever. I'll anyway, point of the story is we've just been fucking dribbling on shit. I hate when I fucking go on a website and some sexy cunt makes it look so good and then I buy it and I look like a pleb in it. That's what pisses me off. Right, I'm starting a new segment to end the podcast. Oh, we got Hotline. Oh, I got a few things I want to talk right, about. Well, I'm. I'm. I've got Actually, a segment. I don't think I do. I'm introducing a new segment on the podcast and it's called, it's 2024. What does that mean? It means we're, we're the furthest in the future we've ever been. These are some things that need to fucking change. It's 2024 and you're telling me we've got cars that drive themselves. We've got fucking IMAX digital fucking cameras that can look at the moon. You're telling me we can we go have to virtual reality. We're going to virtual reality. We're going to space. You're telling me that when I go three meters under a tunnel, my maps freaks out and it can't direct me where I want to go. Yep. Hey, dumb fuck. I took the exit 40 seconds ago. Update. I'm not on King Street anymore. <laughs> I'm in an unfamiliar land. <laughs> I don't recognize these landmarks. <laughs> no, I'm in the tunnel. I'm not turning right 100 meters ago. Stop updating. And now I'm in the ocean for some reason. It goes beep, beep, yeah, beep, yeah. like that. Oh, my exit was 70 meters ago. Oh, yeah. that's okay. I'll turn off 10 minutes later. I'm with you on Arriving this one, three, bro. watching that three minutes jump up to 17. Oh. Then I will take an illegal U-turn that'll risk the lives of all my passengers. <laughs> it's 2024. Why can I not preload the journey? You're telling me I can't do that? I can't preload the fucking drive? Yeah. Oh my God, we're three meters underground. Yep. <laughs> 100% with you, it's bro. It's like watching I, my phone have a seizure. I may not have ever agreed with something more. This is my phone when I go in a map. <laughs> I go underground. <laughs> That's the maps. 
Relax. You should have preloaded before. And you know what it's like watching? It's like <laughs> watching someone that hasn't done their homework try and explain it out of the class. Did you do the readings, Pat? Uh, yeah, I did. What was it about? Oh, um, it was about um, so uh, history, obviously. Um, and and just go, eh, 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 like that. Yeah, just a complete derailing. Thanks a lot. Sorry, I'm 45 minutes late to the funeral. Um, Siri decided to be a fuckhead today. Hey Siri, why do you not preload the journey when I get directions up on maps? Why do you feel the need to freak out and have a full on, you know, panic attack when you go three meters under the ground in a tunnel? Just wondering, thank you. I don't know what that means. If you like, she, she's going to play dumb, and that's fine. But, but I don't think Siri's Google Maps. Don't take it out on Siri, bro. Siri's good to you. Hey, Siri, I want to apologize for that before. You are very good to me. Why, thanks. Hey, Siri, what are you up to next week? Maybe Friday night. I'm not sure I understand. She doesn't understand. Because you are the second biggest user of Siri I know. So I don't think you should be letting letting out anger on it. The first being my dad. And when I say my dad lets out anger on Siri. Of course So he like would. I heard him the other night and he was like, hey, Siri, play this song. And he'll play something else. I'm like, oh, fuck off, cunt. And he'll be like, hey, Siri, call N-A-B bank. And he'll be like, calling B echo. Like some like random contact. Fuck. Fuck off, cunt. I'm like, dad, just fucking... The, the time it takes for you to abuse Siri for it not working, type it in your keypad and just you will get the number. All right, I'm done. Let's do some hotlines. Well, I just... I'm not going to match that, but something that is a little bit different in regards to it's 2024. Can't humans' interactions be advanced enough that when I get in a lift with someone, it's not the most awkward... 30 seconds of my entire existence, bruh. Like, it's 2024. We should have the social skills to not feel like I'm going to implode with anxiety because I'm next to a random in an elevator. It happened today, bruh. I went into Roosters and there was a guy there who I hadn't met yet. And I was like, outside. If I was like, hey, mate, how you doing? Press the lift to go up. And we both just stood in the lift with our heads at the floor. It didn't say a word to each other. Okay, ready? Why is it so awkward? I'm going to be a business person that's just worked nine hours and I still have another three hours left of my day. The lift's open, you walk in. You act how you would like it to go. And action. Zoom, doors open. Hey, in. how you doing? Hey, mate, I'm good. Are you joking? That's how you want it to go. That's how I want it to go. But why? 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 In this day and age. Oh, you want it to be like that. I don't want to talk to them, but why is it so awkward? It's not, because you're just standing it should have, in we, close proximity. I, as a human being who's fucking lived in the caves once upon a time, I can't have, it's a me, pro, I can't hold a conversation with someone in the lift. I talk behind a microphone for a living and I can't Well, not just for a living, guy, because we've barely life. made a cent off this podcast. I can't talk to some guy for 30 seconds. Like, are you kidding? Like, what's with it's that? It's not on you, brother. Also, you've got something in your teeth. I'm fucked today. Fucking boogers, fucking eyelashes. No, no, no. It's in between. So smile. Do this one. That's it. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so it's um, go your main gap. Yeah. And then I'll go three over. One, two, three. Just there? Yeah. Can you feel it? Uh-uh. Is it big? Let me have a look. <sighs> oh, wait. I ate minced meat for lunch. Could be that. I got it. Little ooh, black it's thing. A, it's oh, it's a bit of Cajun pepper, I think. Yeah, good on yeah. you, brother. But do you find that in a lift as well? Is it gone? Sorry, I just want to make sure it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Um, yeah, I find that, I guess. But I have my earphones in usually. Yeah. Um, okay, we're moving on to the hotline. Yep. Also, just a double reminder: buy tickets if you want to see me. Do stand up. Just buy them now so that I can do a second show and just I can sell out the first and then do a second show. Because if I don't sell out in time, I can't do the second show, basically. Do it, bro. I can't wait to come to your Queensland show. Oh, shows. what the fuck? You got it on your tooth again. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gone. I really want to come no, to your- No, it's not. Smile. Yeah, it's gone. 
I can't wait for your Queensland shows. That's what I'm keen for. All right, now You're it's not time. Coming. You're not coming to my Queensland shows unless you come to the UK. I can fucking do what I want, cut. I can fly myself to Queensland and come to your show. You're coming to the UK. I'm not sure. You are. If you want to call the hotline, it is 02840579945. Now, I know we give a prompt of the week only once a week, but I've just got a beauty. I just, I couldn't help myself. I have to give you a prompt already. And it got me thinking when I was in Coles the other day. Now, when we're out in public, right, you get recognized quite a bit, right? People ask for photos. And a few times people have come up to me and been like, oh, what's he do? Now, I want to know if you didn't know Will Gibb and you saw someone go up to him and ask for a photo, what would you think he was famous for? I think that's a great fucking prompt. Okay, if you just look at him and saw someone be like, hey, can I get a photo? What do you think Will Gibb would be famous for? Let us know. That's a good one. I can hope it's a good one, bro. I'll come up with it. How you going, Will? You sexy man and part your big gorilla fuck. I'd say the biggest ick would probably be um, when a girl's running and fucking trips over her own legs, scrapes her knee and like her hand and shit. There's like blood on her knee. Like, bro, you're embarrassing. You just got folded fucking like a lawn chair by your own legs. You don't want to be seen with you. It's cringe. Anyway, have a good one, boys. That can't be a real laugh. Yeah, what bro, are you doing? That is fucking hilarious. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I hated that. I fucking love that, bro. That is so. It's not even. Is that, is that even a nick? That's why it's. No, the no, detail no, he went into is so funny. The bro. idea that someone hurts themselves and you're like that <laughs> is quite funny. Just the way he went into it and they graze their knees and their hair. It's so embarrassing. What are you doing? That was fucking hilarious. God forbid anyone's fucking vulnerable around that bloke. Fucking hell, that was funny. Hey, boys. Um, long time listener here. Love you guys. My ick whatever. is when you're hooking up with a guy or girl or whoever and they suck your nipples and they don't brush their teeth so then your nipples stink. <laughs> don't don't fuck with people that make your nipples smell. Thanks, yeah, guys. Is that a thing? I did not even know nipples could smell. I did not know nipples could smell. So if you have bad breath and you suck a nipple, it smells after. Is that's that really an, funny. Is that an ick? Yes, that's a huge ick. Wow. How do you collect? Do you just soap them? You'd have to. Brush them. Brush your nipples. I'd get a stiffy if I brushed my nipples. <laughs> yeah, I get a stiffy over a lot of things, though. Valid. G'day, boys. My name's Matt. I'm from Melbourne. Don't Be- care. Better state than Sydney, <laughs> by the way. Melbourne. But I just wanted to Melbourne. say, my probably my biggest ick. So I'm a, I'm a gym goer. Shout out to Will's going to the gym, by the way. You. I saw you the other day. Anyway. Love you again. I, I've been going to the gym, and just no one fucking wears deodorant. Like, honestly, how long does it take to spray a bit of, you know, a bit of happy, happy good stuff on there? Like, mm-hmm. I, I use roll on personally because it'll last longer, but we aren't going to get into logistics. So that was just my <laughs> bit of an ick. By the way, I ran into Blake Pavey and Luke Kizzle fucking blind drunk in Melbourne the other night, so shout out to them. Yeah, they are the best. I've never met Luke, but Blake's a sick cunt. Blake's a sick cunt and Luke's the nicest man in the world. Um, And, okay, well, I agree with that. I guess I've never really smelt anyone at the gym, if I'm being honest. I guess that's just because I'm really rich and I go to a really nice gym um, where we don't have smelly, disgusting people wandering around. So maybe I can't relate to that. Um, But, yeah. Well, Matt, a question I've got for you that I'd like answered is roll on. That's a bit fucked. But my he question just said is it lasts longer. Yeah, but if if it's old spice, play on. You know old spice, roll on. We it's had like a kid wax. in year six and three that would wear it. And I'm like, you don't need to be putting deodorant on, brother, you in year That's three. That's the go. But if you're doing roll on Rexona or something, grow up. But you're a sick cunt. Hey guys, um, love the pod. This is my ick for the week. So imagine like a guy's naked in the bath and he's like rocking himself forward and back in the bath. Like I just Every time I think of that, it's a massive ick. I just, yuck. Oh, I'm so here for that. That is so <laughs> funny. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh, did she say her name? No. No, okay. Well, unknown caller, I'm going to ick you out even more. I'm six foot four, so when I have a bath, 
to fit like my top half of my body in, I have to rest my legs up against the wall. Bro. So I'm laying in the bath and my <laughs> legs are straight up against the wall. Like picture me, say, picture someone cramping and lifting their hands. If you're listening, watching the YouTube, I'm like, my legs are up against the L. wall. Wait, brother. That's a fucking it. You would fill your bath up for 30 seconds before you get in it. Otherwise the displacement would no, just- I got a big bath, bro. You'd have to have a giant I got bath. a big bath. And probably even to add even more <laughs> onto that bath, Vic. You think rocking back and forth in the bath is a nick. At my mum's house, my shower is, it's like the the width of the whole wall of the bathroom. Yeah, it's it's like one, one of those, so you can lay down in it. So I'll, again, lay down and put my legs up against the wall and I'll push myself off and I'll slide from one end of the bathroom to the other. You know what I mean? And then, I'll, send me a video. and then I'll push with my hands, I'll push myself back to the other side. Cause so there's, there's, goes, yeah, and then I get real close to the wall and I push off That's and I hectic. slide to one end of the bathroom. And every time I get out of that shower, my mom's like, why the fuck is the whole bathroom flooded? <laughs> and I'm and I'm just going like, I'm like on in a water slide in that there. That is hectic. Yeah, but I reckon that would probably eke you out if the bath one did. I love that. Hey guys, just wanted to say, love you, love your work, I've listened to all the episodes. Sick cunt. Um, your suggestion was icks, and let me you just know. say, one of my icks is so. when people are talking to like a lot of people, and they're just waffling, and they have no idea like what they're right actually now. talking about. <gasps> I'm referencing when you guys talked about OJ. Do yourselves a fucking favour and watch the series. Oh, no. Nah. OJ versus the people, and then have a conversation about it, because nah. you sounded... Silly. Anyways, oh. I love you, and I'll see you in Pass Will. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't love think, her. I don't think you love no, us. No, that at was all. iconic. We got, see, we had banter just then. She pre-recorded chat, and we gave it back. She knew we would give it back. Yeah, and then she came at us again. And I think she won. What a rally! She I won. Think she she won. won. I love her. Yeah, you're you amazing. Just won match point. Okay, you are in a room with a hundred random people. If you're better than all of them at something, you win a billion dollars. <gasps> what is it you're doing? How many people? A hundred. Love the pod boys. I'm doing stand up. I'm doing easy. I'm doing being anxious. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <cool. laughs> nah, I'd probably do I'm doing improvised stand up, like crowd work stand up, I reckon I would do. Yeah, you're winning. I'd probably do a hundred random people. How about this? If you lose, you die. Like there needs to be stakes. Would you enter? I mean a hundred million dollars is pretty stake. A billion. Not if I lose, I die, no. Of course not. Okay, but okay, yeah, I'll take that away. A billion. Maybe like, fuck, I'm talentless. Can I say, bro? I was you thinking could like cooking. tackle bull rush or something. Tackle bull rush, keep cooking without a recipe. Mm, I'm good at that. That could be fucking on. I'm good at that. Podcast editing. Nah, there's wizards oh, out there. Oh, boxing and announcing a boxing match. Yeah. Nah, people, it's just a hundred randoms. You know what I mean? Like imagine I choose tackle bull rush and I just get put in there with big islanders and then it's like fuck. Dude, I think announcing a, a boxing match would be pretty big for you. I still reckon my anxiety probably get me over the line. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, thank you for listening, you woodeners. Yeah. This has been potentially a longer episode. How long have we been going for? Okay, so we're gonna stay longest. on for two minutes. We'll hit an hour ten. Well, next episode we have a guest. We have a guest Oh, we next do episode. that little cunt. I don't even want him on. And I don't know. It could just be the worst episode ever. It's going to be chaotic. Yeah. I think it'll be really, there'll be a lot of cut things. It's going to be, yeah. A lot it'll of be very negative be energy. But a lot no, of positive it'll be, energy. It'll be negative for us, but positive, like fun banter. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be getting exposed. I think there'll just be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of bullying, but in a friendly way. Yeah. I think we're at about a, an hour nine now. So we've got about a minute more to kill. Because I really want to hit a minute 10, even though when it's edited, it won't even be a minute 10. It'll be an hour 10. No, an I want to say 10. this. Back on Anzac Day, it's very important. Go outside, drink a water and just say thank you. Do do what you want to do. But like we said last step, just don't be a cunt. Don't you go I mean? sculling a beer for the Anzacs.
It's like, have a beer, bro. They'd probably want you to have a beer. Have a pack of cigarettes if you- Dude, not only that- If you want, but don't carry on. No, not only that, have the beer and do it alone in a room so no one has to see you because you sound like a gronk. No. I think go to- If you want to have a beer, go to a pub. No, no, not that person. Play a bit of two up. Not the person that's going, oh, you're skull of for the end. You're being that cunt. I'm saying you go away. You lock yourself up in your room. Yeah, but I don't think any of you wouldn't just do that. They're good cunts. And fuck it, play some COD and get revenge. What are you doing? Chloe Hotel? Yeah. We're going to the Chloe Hotel if anyone wants to come. We'll and then maybe there. the game. Chloe Hotel and then watch the game. Yeah, but we might. I might go to the game. Yeah, I'd love to go to the game. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I f- yeah, are we at 10 minutes yet? Yeah, fucking oath. Bye. Love you guys.